What is happening, Vintage Gamers? Welcome to a Wednesday Night Vintage League. This time, sponsored by our good friend, Non-Basic Land. Uh, we play against them quite a lot in different vintage events on Magic Online. And as I usually mention during our videos, they are known for two-card Monty. Now, newer vintage players may ask, what is two-card Monty? Because two-card Monty is a boomer term. Um, from the best I can tell, uh, it originates from an article on Star City Games 2010. Uh, a vintage deck trying to play Turbo Combo, uh, featuring Painter Servant, Grindstone, and Leyline Helm. Um, that deck used to play like Serum Powder and a bunch of tutors. Uh, it is basically the boomer version of Combo Shops. Um, Non-Basic Land is definitely a fan of this archetype, and we still see him play it from time to time. And that's what uh, they have sponsored tonight's stream to play. So we will be playing it. Um, I took their last 5-0, which was from 2022. Uh, and I just made a couple changes. Um, I added a Goblin Welder because it feels like it's in the spirit of playing two-card Monty. Two-card Monty used to be a deck. Let me bring up the article, actually. Uh, where there were four Goblin Welders for redundancy. Two-card Monty MDG. Uh, now, not exactly a Goblin Welder format anymore, but... I had the article. So there's another article on the Mana Drain, but the Mana Drain is not running right now. But here's an article from Star City Games from February of 2010. Uh, and, and this is a, uh, you see, four Goblin Welder, four Painter Servant, Red Elemental Blast and Grindstone, Helm of Obedience, and Leyline of the Void. Um, you'll actually see that the deck list is pretty similar. Uh, when you play Vintage, you know, you can only get one Demonic, one Tinker, one Lotus one Mox, one of all those things. Uh, and those cards haven't changed in 13 years. Uh, the cards that have changed are Karn. Uh, I definitely want to have access to Karn. Also, Karn does a really cool thing where it can get three of your four combo pieces. Um, uh, we have like a little bit more interaction than previously. There's an Abrade, which will hit the Null Rods and the, uh, uh, the Collector Oofs of the world. You gotta, you know, change your deck up for the, the format. We have some defense grids because there's a lot of permission going around. Um, and then I think there are some inclusions that, you know, I don't know, you know, the history of two-card Monty, but I don't know if Imperial Seal, Wheel of Fortune, and Time Twister are cards that typically were played in those decks. I know Wheel of Fortune may have been because it went with the, you know, the Goblin Welder redundancy plan, but uh, those are definitely in here at least. Um, you know, they're powerful cards, but they are cards that have kind of fallen out of favor in Vintage in the recent times. Um, I did include Urza Saga. You could definitely play more Urza Sagas in this list. Uh, I decided that the list I was sent didn't have, like, the full workshop set, and I didn't really like the way that the colored mana was set up, so I, I chose to just trim on Sagas, um, so that I could play the full workshops and full colored mana sources in the lands, and then I, I did put one Saga in because I think it's good to have for, like, uh, tutoring for. Um... For the, for the most part, the rest of this deck is is what was sent. You know, lots of restricted cards, lots of one-ofs, uh, and it should be a blast. This deck is not, you know, this deck hits the power level needed to be played in Vintage, but uh, it doesn't really keep up with the Force of Will decks in the world. So we'll see what we can do tonight in uh, this Vintage League. If you'd like to see your deck played on this channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. Let's battle. All right. Welcome to round one of our Vintage League. We're up against 420 Prey It. Um, if you're watching the YouTube video, past Justin just mentioned uh, the Patreon. That is where this deck list came from. Uh, Non-Basic Land, you know, wanted to do a donation deck list, and I do accept those. And I have some open slots uh, coming in the next few weeks, especially with the new uh, Phyrexia cards that are coming out uh, with one. So if you are interested in doing a donation deck list, uh, definitely check out the Patreon link in the description of the YouTube video. All right, let's get the battling. Get to battling? Almost. <laughs> that is so many Leyline of the Voids. Uh, this is, unfortunately, not a keepable hand. It's close, but not really close. <laughs> if we could tinker out a Helm, maybe this would be maybe some playable, but we're, let's mulligan. Uh, this one is great. Would keep again. 
This hand is really nice. Um, I don't know if I'm going to want to keep... So I'm one mana short of, on turn two, playing Helm. Obviously, we have turn one, Trinisphere, and Leyline. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to keep Pyro or Grindstone. I'm just going to keep Grindstone. I don't think... Well, there's a possibility they counter Trinisphere and we protect our Helm with Pyro. So let's, 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 let's do that. Well, the pyro is redundancy, right? If the three ball resolves, the pyro is unnecessary. But if the three ball is countered, then we could hit like Moxen and protect our helm with pyro. So I think there's uh, there's some some relevant there. So I am definitely going to slam the three ball though. That's just going to result in a very easy win if this resolves. Yeah. Okay. So now my opponent can't interact with me. I'll play a helm next turn, and then the turn after that, as long as my gemstone mine is still in play, uh, we will kill them. Because they can't force this. So I can't... Uh, I don't want to play... So actually, I am going to play off of Workshop. Uh, and the reason is because I don't want my Gemstone Mine to get Wastelanded. And I can't activate this for zero. So there's no reason not to do this. And then uh, we have already won game one. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, we don't know what our opponent's on. Most of this is a um, a Karn sideboard that also doubles as you know dredge hate. Um, and then like, these cards will probably not come in unless the Karn gets boarded out. Uh, this will come in. The mountain will come in against Ghost Quarter and Initiative. This will come in against Creature decks. A braid will come in against Null Rod Collector Roof decks. Mind Break Trap against Combo decks and Balance against Creature decks. Um, we, again, we don't know what our opponent's on, so I think we'll just uh, run back the same. 60. Don't need Grindstone if we have 3-ball either, so. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, what do we have this time? We have double Leyline and we have some amount of mana, and we have Painter Grindstone. I mean, this seems like a keep. Could definitely use some faster mana. Um, don't think there's any reason to not put both Ley Lines in play here. It's not like we can... Well... The biggest thing is Force of Vigor, but... I guess there could be a like Lorne. I'm just going to put them both in play. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely also have uh, things get weird when wow, that was faster mana, huh? Things get weird when I don't listen to things on YouTube and they're not fast. So... I guess this does make protect my um, my leyline from vigor when I if I go leyline saga. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play saga grindstone. Um, I want my saga to go off so I can guarantee I have mana for my uh, painter servant. So I think I'm gonna do this. I have a lot of things in play. Let's see what happens. I guess if my opponent plays collector roof, that could be a problem. Ooh, black lotus. Black Lotus Pass could be Force of Will. The problem with leading Grindstone is uh, now my opponent gets a pretty solid counter on Painter's Servant. Third Ley Line, not ideal. Um, but what I can do is just not play Painter's Servant here, and instead I can just go make a, a Construct. That's true, we did see Saga in Game 1. Kind of forgot about game one. Uh, all right, my opponent has still played no spells. There are definitely decks that, I mean, there are decks that historically have played Saga in a Force of Vigor deck, like Oath decks, but for the most part, no one in Oath plays Saga anymore. I think that was mostly a fad because people thought Saga was broken. All right, well, I don't have Volk Key. What do I have? I have a top. Or I can just get the mana to make this work right now. 
Technically, I have the mana to... No, I don't have the mana to make it work. Hmm. It's kind of unfortunate. Because I'd like to get a top here and manipulate my draws, but I also want to try to kill them. I think I'm just going to hide the fact that I have enough mana. Hmm. Though I guess if I had played it off of Workshop, then... things would have been better. I guess I don't have to activate this right now, because I have the mana. So I can wait. I don't think I did that in anywhere close to an optimal sequencing. I don't really know what I was thinking about, but... Alright, I'm gonna go... Yeah, I'm still gonna go on their upkeep, though. Alright, so they have, like, a lightning bolt, maybe? On a braid? Dismember. Hercules Recall. Alright, well, at least I got some damage in. Okay, so they're, they're Grixis Tinker. Three cards left in hand. All right, well. Let's just do it. I don't really have, like, other things I can be doing here. All right, I'm going to just fire this off now. I mean, they can respond at any point doing anything. I don't think it matters at all. Like, I don't think that matters. Does it? I could be wrong, but <laughs> I think uh, maybe they'll have run out of counter magic. Well, there, I think I'm always activating main phase, and on the other time, I think I'm always activating on their turn. I don't have to activate main phase there, but um, I think it makes sense too. I'm not, I'm not saying I played that well. I just put all my cards down and hope that they worked. So, like, if you think they have removal, you want to use it on their turn so that they spend they spend their mana on their turn. But you don't want to give them a card if you, you know, sometimes you don't want to give them a card so you want to do it on upkeep, and sometimes you don't want to give them, you know, let them untap with mana. Um, so, like, that was the reasoning I did it. So, like, uh, the first time, I thought they had removal, so I wanted them to use the mana on their turn, which they did. And then the second time, I just wanted to make, like, not, I didn't want them to untap with their mana, so I decided to press it on my turn. They can always kill Painter in response to Grindstone. I, I'm confused, but maybe we'll figure it out between rounds. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We got Mosh. Mosh used to play a lot of uh, aggro decks, but then they started to play... Bizarre decks, and then they started to play uh, Mono White Initiative decks, so I'm not sure where Mosh is at this point in life. Uh, this hand has a Tinker, so we're going to keep it. 
I don't know what we're tinkering. I guess we're tinkering for a Citadel. I don't think I'm going to play around Mind Break Trap. I think I would rather hold my land drop. So I'm going to probably go Emerald Vault, Sapphire, Tinker. Uh, and that is, let me just check what's in my deck list. Yeah, that looks right. Um, this also technically plays around, um, Mental Misstep. I guess I could always play around Mental Misstep, but... It's not really... 18 lands it's 17 lands in a spell is the way i looked at it but there's a lot of lands agreed all right we're tinkering all right we're resolving i've got a citadel i've got a lotus uh i've got a painter yeah it's not the best citadel deck either uh i guess i will paint the town blue and then I got a mana confluence, and then we're bricked. Um, I do think I'm going to play out this helm. Oh, we could helm ourselves. Yeah, we probably should have helmed ourselves. I didn't even think about that. I mean, I thought about it once I hit the button. But uh, we could have helmed ourselves there. I was thinking, I was pretty into the idea of helming my opponent because I think they're on a creature deck. But I guess if they're on, like, if they play an Archon here, it's kind of annoying. So I was thinking we were going to helm our opponent and, like, get the initiative creatures or or that kind of thing. I, that you know that was what I was thinking about. I think it's worse than helming ourselves. No, it's not only opponent. Oh wait, it is only opponent. What? Non basic land told me to helm myself. <laughs> uh, you're right. It's only opponent. Damn. Okay. I kind of thought you could helm yourself too. But all right, then there was nothing wrong. <laughs> Really? Guess it doesn't come up very much. <laughs> I'm so I'm I'm I thought for sure we could helm ourselves even after I didn't helm ourselves. <laughs> just just remember just remember chat. Uh, Twitch chat is a, a, a you know a positive for the streamer. They only tell you the best lines, and uh, <laughs> I'm gaining an advantage by having you here. <laughs> Grindstone's a pretty reasonable name. Uh, let's draw. And all right, another another land. And then, oh, look at that! Do do do. Get him! <laughs> all right, we're having fun tonight. We're 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 doing the thing. All right, so our opponent is on mono white initiative. Uh, I think we're gonna bring in a sphinx. I think we're going to bring in a braids. I think we're going to bring in balance. I kind of want to bring in Trap on the draw, but I don't know about that. I've never won a game of Vintage in my life, based on my past performances. <laughs> so, uh, I want this Trinisphere gone. Um, I kind of, I don't know, I, I don't know about these, I thought about cutting Pyroblast entirely from the deck, but I guess it does, like, kill Null Rods, so maybe that's not very good. Uh, I guess we're on the draw. We can probably cut Wheel and Twister. Uh, no, I, I like Karn enough. Um, Karn's, like, pretty good, uh, against these fast mana decks, or the, the mono white deck. It's only really great on the play, but it's still fine here. Karn's a little bit better in this deck than some of the decks where I board Karn out, because it does hit, um, Painter, Helm, and Grindstone. Oh, I wanted this Mountain. Uh, I guess, like, we don't have to bring in Trap. I was thinking it might be, like, reasonable to bring in Trap against, um, against Mono White. But, you know, that's only if they have double mocks in hand. I still kind of like the idea, though. Hmm. 
I think I might take out Citadel top. I guess top is still fine. Top is like not that good. Let's try this. Mm, this hand is all mana. No shot. This deck might just have too much mana in it. It's hard to say because you do want to cast a four drop on turn one. <laughs> so. Uh, it, th Tabernacle versus Stompy style decks just doesn't really work. Um, Tabernacle is meant entirely in vintage for um, Bazaar of Baghdad decks that don't have mana to save their creatures. Uh, like my opponent's like going to open with like Mox Mox land creature and Tabernacle just doesn't do anything versus that. Uh, yeah, this hand looks pretty reasonable. This Tinker is a lot worse than I don't have Citadel, but... Um, hmm, this is kind of an interesting one. I think I want to save... Hmm. Kind of want to save the Workshop. I think I'm going to put away one of the mana lands could be wrong though but i think my opening play might be something like gemstone mine mana crypt a braid something and then painter tinker or something i just don't like wow they kept planes go i guess they're on five uh oh that's interesting too we're short on that I'm really surprised with my opponent's play. Hmm. Maybe that means they have Null Rod. I might just Tinker a Sphinx. I kind of wish I had my land back. Hmm. I mean, I can go Genstone Crypt Pass, but I really don't like that. I just think they're going to leave in all their solitude, so Sphinx isn't that good. If I had a Citadel, I would slam Citadel, but I, 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 I boarded the Citadel out because I assumed my opponent would have interaction on turn one that would make it so we couldn't do it. Hmm. The problem with tinkering here is that we can't really play any of our follow-up cards. I think I'm going to play slow. I'm still going to play the Crypt out, though. The biggest problem I'm concerned with is Null Rod, I guess. I kind of want to bait a Wasteland. Okay, is it just Null Rod? Oh, it's Kataki. Hmm. It's kind of annoying. This is a situation where it would have been better to play Gemstone Mine. I mean, they mold a five, so I guess that makes sense, but it's definitely a weak hand. Yeah, so I thought about going gemstone mana crypt pass was definitely the line that first came to like first came to mind, but <laughs> uh, I did draw grindstone. Don't really have the mana to play much of this, but I guess I can just grindstone on upkeep if they don't have a null rod, so. That would lose pretty badly to solitude, but. Not really thrilled with this. I kind of think I played badly and I should have just gone gemstone mana crypt pass. I just think that was a really safe play to make. It just, I felt like if, if like, I don't know, something weird happened where they like played a seasoned Dungeoneer or, 
Huh. No, I really think that maybe, but I just like didn't want to go and do nothing with my turn. Be weak to wasteland. Okay, so they are going to solitude. Uh, this painter servant. And they have Wasteland. Okay. Oh, but they have Harkon. So this is the kind of thing I was super worried about. Um, but now they have no cards left. I assume because it doesn't take damage. Um, all right. So I can kill one of these creatures if I want and keep one artifact. Or I can just pay. Probably should have made the three damage happen first. I think I'm just going to pay at least for a turn. I really want to just draw another mana source that's not a workshop so that I can just cast this abraid or my tinker. Or, I mean, that probably is going to win the game too. I guess it depends on if they wasteland my gemstone mine or not. I guess it doesn't really depend. Well, the Archon is really annoying. All right, so yeah, I mean, if my opponent, well, if my opponent had solituded in response to the activation, we would have been really blown out. So it was definitely lucky for us that they they played like that. All right, so the biggest problem with this vampiric tutor is gonna be Let's see what they waste. They haven't wasted. Oh, now I don't know. Now we can't tell what our opponent is going to. Hmm. Well, Talarian comes into play tapped because of Archon of Ameria. We cannot Lotus Tinker. That would be an illegal play. I guess it's not illegal if we uh, upkeep kill the Archon. That's only assuming we have a Gemstone Mine. I still think we're going to get Lotus, though. I think we're going to hope the Gemstone Mine stays in play and then a Braid. I mean, we don't have much time. We're at 10. They have 4 power and we have a Mana Crypt, so... Oh, they went for the Gemstone Mine. It's pretty smart. All right, let's see if this flip hits. Oh, we lost the flip again. Uh, I am just going to pay. Because I can't abrade. I can abrade on their turn, obviously. I can't do anything now, but I still have... Well, I can... I could, maybe I should just let this mana crypt die. I mean, we're going to lose this game, right? We're just super dead. I played this game so badly. I deserve to lose this game. If I had just played my initial way, I think we would have won by a lot. If I had tinkered for Sphinx, I think we would have lost by quite a lot too. So I was happy I didn't tinker Sphinx, but I was pretty unhappy I just didn't have Citadel in my deck. I guess it doesn't matter if this resolves or not. So which of these opens me up to the best chance of winning the game? I think the answer is not a braid top deck painter servant. Like win the crypt flip top deck painter servant two out of 50. Just pay for these two. I guess I have Tinker Sphinx still. No, I don't have Tinker anymore because of Thalia. Unless I top deck a land. All right, I think I have to win this Crypt Flip. I mean, we've only lost every Crypt Flip, right? <laughs> uh, I played this game really badly. No, we lost again. Um, we would have hit Gemstone Mine, so we would have been able to Tinker Sphinx, and we probably win the game. That's kind of unfortunate.
No, gemstone mine comes into play tapped because of Archon, so that does not work. So we still just lose. Okay. All right. Um, I think I just, like I said, I think I would have won that game if I had just put Citadel in. I'm on the play, so I'm definitely putting Citadel back in my deck. Uh, I think I want to put these wheels back in my deck, too. I, I, I think if I had just gone with the, uh, I mean, it was weak to Wasteland, for sure. But if I'd gone, like, a Mine Crypt Pass, I think that was probably our best line in that game. Because it was still good against Null Rod. Um, I'm trying to think of Pyro Blast is worse on the draw. I just want, like, a maximum number of, like, ways to win the game immediately. I think I played badly, though. Uh, Ancestral. Yeah, it could be anything. Uh, I think I'm going to... God, do I play around Mental Misstep or do I play around Mind Break Trap? I guess I'm going to just go and Ancestral on their turn. I don't like the idea of Ancestraling on their turn, but... Well, I can wheel, and I have a braid mana now, so I did hit a lot of land drops. If they play turn one Nullrata, we can actually still kill it too, which is nice. Solitude, Plains, Kataki maybe? Oh, Stony Silence? Uh oh. Uh oh. That one I can't abrade. All right, well, I think we're wheeling and dealing. See, is my hand's really bad. I don't think we're really, really allowed to wait here. I mean, we could wait and then get to play a workshop because we drew a mana confluence. Okay, we can wait. We can wait. We can wait. We can kill a creature with our braid and then we can play a workshop. We can get more mana maybe with an artifact. This is fine. This, this looks fine. I think the thing I was most worried about was like getting wastelanded, but we do have... um. Okay. We do have um Mansion Tomb. All right. Twister. Uh interesting. I think it's better for us to go Ancient Tomb, Mana Confluence for Red, Wheat of Fortune, because then we get to use our Talarian Academy still. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's no lattice in this sideboard. I guess you have a bunch of combos. Uh, having a bri oh again, I can't kill a stony silence without pyroblast on painter pyro. Um. Lattice is, is bad if they have Stony Silence. <laughs> That's also probably true. Um, how are we winning this game? Tinker Sphinx. Gave them a fresh seven.
Um, <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, now if they have a waste, wait, what, why did you, they just want to clean up? Maybe they just think I have a lattice, but I don't. I do have a vampiric tutor, though. Uh, I think the only thing we really have... I mean, I could get a pyroblast, and then I could get a painter's servant, and then I could, like, hope it works. Seems kind of bad. I could just balance them. I, I don't have the mana to do anything besides Tinker right now, though, so... We're at 12 life. I don't think we want to tinker a Citadel. I think we just want to put a Sphinx in play. Pretty sure it's the only good thing we have going right now, so. Uh, let me get a three ball. I don't think a three ball is good, though. But it stops the solitude immediately. I guess I could have played Mana Vault first, maybe. Yeah, whatever. All right. I guess my opponent technically could have drawn all moxes and creatures. What? Is, so they're playing it out. Maybe they drew all moxes and creatures. I guess that's technically possible. I mean, yes, yes, animating and attacking with three ball does turn off three ball, but I actually think it's probably more relevant as a three damage attacker. Yeah, they've they've discarded Jet Emerald Lotus. So Stony Silence coming up big. Like, I don't think it's a huge deal to turn off three ball. Like, if they hit a third mana. Obviously, right now, we're protecting ourselves from, um, uh, from Solitude, but... This attacking with this sensei's top actually puts lethal on the table, which is kind of cool. I can't believe they just hit three moxen. <laughs> That's crazy. That might have been the best wheel of fortune ever, then. It's pretty good. There's no need to wish for a helm. We have a 1 1. Oh my god. Yeah, so they hit all creatures and Moxen, and we three-balled to prevent Solitude from killing our Sphinx. I'm not terrible at magic. Sometimes I make really good plays. Also, they could have Lorend our Sphinx. This could have died so many ways. All right, what I learned is they had two Stony Silence in their deck. Okay, so I learned that we could not board out these Pyroblasts. That was bad. I didn't think they played that many Stony Silence. I thought they were mostly on Null Rod so they could Ancient Tomb it. I mean, I was lucky, but I was also good. Like, the three-ball play was... That was up here. All right, we've been repaired against uh, Mosh, so another mono-white matchup. Uh, <laughs> can we do a turn one kill here? No. Can we do a turn two kill? Mm, kind of depends. We could Demonic for Karn, though, right? Demonic for Lotus for plus one mana. 
uh, is going to be Karn on turn one. That's really good against Mono White. I guess we're going to do that. So we can play Karn on turn one and have a Ley Line, and then we just need to hit Mana. We can Vamp for Workshop to play a Helm and win with the Helm. Wait, so we do have a turn two kill. Actually, it's probably guaranteed turn two kill. This might just win on the spot, right? Because my opponent can't do anything about Demonic, Lotus, uh, Karn, and then I guess they could have like a Mental Misstep possibly, but I think this is just winning. Demonic, Black Lotus, Karn. Uh, is there any reason? I guess I could like have a needle or something. Like, oh, they could have a peacekeeper. But they can't play the peacekeeper. I don't know if there's any reason not to just do this. All right. So I don't think the opponent can interact. And as long as they don't have mental misstep, we just vamp for workshop. I guess if they have wasteland, wasteland is their best piece of interaction here. Cool. Uh, I think you probably still make the same play if you don't know what the opponent is on. So that's nice. All right. So what did we learn from our, our previous encounter with this opponent? <laughs> we wanted uh, Snow-Covered Mountain, Sphinx of the Steel win, Abrades. We brought in Traps on the draw. Uh, we brought in Balance. And then we had we had taken out Citadel because we thought we would get restricted by it or restricted too much. But I don't know if that's actually the case. Um, maybe we will take Karn out on the draw here. Obviously, defense grids are bad. No, I, I don't think Tabernacle is good versus them. Um, last time we took out like Citadel top, and I kind of was upset. And we learned we can't take out Pyroblast because our opponent plays at least two Stony Silence. So... If we want to bring in Mind Break Trap, we do have to cut. Can we board out Imperial Seal on the draw? Yeah, yeah, we can board out Imperial Seal. That's fair. Um, That's pretty reasonable, actually. Yeah, yeah. So my opponent is like should be looking for hands that contain a turn one creature spell, and that's why I would want to be able to play Trap. I don't know if it's good. But I think it's like a way we can sneak uh, you know, a, a, a win of some kind. I think I am going to just take this top. I should do this. Let's try this. The combo? Uh, yeah, I absolutely. I didn't, um, I didn't really think about that. Uh, yeah, so there are two combos in the deck. There is Painter Servant and Grindstone. So Painter Servant makes all spells a certain color, and Grindstone mills until you hit cards of different colors. Or sorry, it mills when you hit cards of the same color. So it just mills your opponent's entire deck. Uh, and the other combo is Leyline of the Void, Helm of Obedience. Uh, Helm of Obedience mills your opponent for X amount. Um, uh, or, sorry. It mills until it hits a creature or X cards are put into the graveyard. Uh, if there's a Leyline of the Void, uh, no creature can be put into, or, or it can't hit a creature and no cards can go in the graveyard. So it just mills over their whole deck. I hope I explained that one right. Uh, mills until yeah yeah so something like that <laughs> basically they're both infinite mill combos with old magic cards um so this hand has ley line and it has painter pyro but I actually think this is just a mulligan because it's very likely to not do anything and lose so let's mulligan this hand this one has Tinker with no artifact, also has balance. I keep drawing all these Pyroblasts, which we don't really want to draw. We only want them when we need them. <laughs> I think this hand's also bad. If it had a Moxin, I might keep it, but I don't think we're going to like Lotus balance them on turn one here. I guess we could. We have a Leyline in play. Lotus balance. Takes their land drop and a card, probably, at least. Oh, they're on a mulligan to five. Never mind. Let's mulligan again. Uh, good God. Um, 
This hand also doesn't do anything. <laughs> My opponent kept their five card hand, but mine doesn't even make mana. So I guess we're going to go to four. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I think, uh, I think we just keep and go for the win. I think we just keep and go for the win. Pretty bold, but my opponent did keep planes go last time. Oh, no, they kept mana crypt this time. All right, we're dead. <laughs> uh oh. Maybe they'll die to the mana crypt. I don't even want to use my mining counter on. Maybe I should just held that. Uh, yeah. Was not mind break trappable, so that didn't come up. Oh wow, they have ancient tomb too. All right, we're doomed. We're doomed. It's doomed. It's doomed. It's super doomed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Lotus Balance would have also been very bad against my opponent's draw. Agreed. Oh, no, they can just drop their Mana Crypt. Now we have no game plan. Uh, once they play a better creature, then I'll concede. Or they Wasteland me. I don't think I was supposed to play this Gemstone Mine, for what it's worth. I still feel like I'm supposed to take a couple of draw steps. Oh my lord. The game is like, no, 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 Justin. You've had too much luck. We need to scale back a little bit on that luck part. Man, stony silence, huh? Seems rude. <laughs> oh god. We weren't going to win this game, but... Uh, it's okay. We get to be on the play in game three. Ooh. I like that. Hold up. Oh, wait. I shouldn't have played that. It's just going to die to Kaitaki. <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely shouldn't have played the Mana Vault. But, you know, really want to soak the fear in your opponent here. You got all these extra triggers and stuff. Oh, let's just let this thing die. <laughs> yeah, I'm off it. Uh, I don't know why I did that. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right. Mana Confluence. Hello. What is this? Is this a hard cast solitude? Brutal. What up? It's going to be a quick league. This deck just kills everyone on turn one. The what? Oh no, that's not out yet. The the new cards don't come out until February, so. Well, that's a good draw. Am I dead before this is good? So I can draw Pyroblast now? Wish I kept my mana vault in my hand. Oh, they have another solid okay, alright. Well, I will concede. You got me. Alright, alright. It was a mulligan to four. It happens. It happens. Uh, so on the play, we get to take these mind break traps out, and we're going to put these wheels back in our deck. And then we'll wheel and deal. All right. Looking for a turn one kill. Looking for a turn one kill. Survey says that is a turn one tinker. I guess we'll just tinker for Citadel. We have so many lands in our hand, right? We could, can't possibly brick. Can't possibly brick. All right, there's a painter servant. And then a brick. Okay. Oh, I'm going to name blue. And I'm going to pass. Citadel in play should still be good against our opponent, even if we get, like, null rotted. We have a vampiric tutor as well. We don't have a time walk in our deck, which is interesting. Uh, uh oh, Black Lotus. That's a lot of mana. I guess Archon's quite good against us. All right, Anointed Peacekeeper. Well, that's probably going to name Vampiric Tutor, which is also annoying. I 
I assume this next spell will be a Null Rod or something similar. All right, they're, they're in the tank. It's either Vampiric Tutor or they like name a combo piece, like a Grindstone maybe. We're already pretty far away from Grindstoning though. Oh, they named Vampiric Tutor, okay. And the follow-up is... I guess a Kataki would be kind of annoying. Oh, this is a Kataki. All right, well, I am not paying for that one. This Citadel is gonna have to be pretty good. Wait, what is this? Why does it say it has the wrong it has the wrong text on the on the thing? Okay, top of my deck, a braid. That's a good start. Uh, I guess it's better to a braid the peacekeeper so I can vampiric. Land off the top, and then we brick. <sighs> Bricked again. All right. So what do we vamp for? A braid number two, or do we just wheel and deal? Good wheel and deal. I don't want to just cast wheel. Is that silly? Sphinx, I don't think is good. My opponent can easily have solitude. I didn't keep the top in the deck, so we can't top. <laughs> uh, I like I like the idea though. The top would be good here. There's no top in the deck, guys. <laughs> I, I, it's, it's not in the deck. It's in the sideboard. <laughs> I can put Karn and I can go get my top, but I don't have a mana to cast it. Um. So like the options are. You know, I could balance, I could abrade, I could I could ancestral, I could carn. Uh could wheel. I feel like it's super close. A braid might just be good. All right, whatever. Let's wheel. We're, we can't. We put wheel in the deck to cast it, right? Yeah, there's a time twister. We bricked immediately and died. Well, that's fun. Okay. I mean. Hmm. That's bad. They did have solitude for anyone who said put Sphinx in play. Uh, we're so dead. Yeah. All right, it's okay. We can actually beat that. So, I am going to let this die. Well, if they have a Solitude, we don't beat that, but whatever. And I'm still going to pay for this. Uh... So if they have a Solitude, we lose. Do I want to cast Karn? Yeah, there's no way I can beat a Solitude at all, right? I feel like we should still cast Karn. <gasps> wow, that's a way we beat a Solitude. Incredible. All right. 
I don't think they have it, seeing as they're F6, but... Yeah, they didn't have it anyways. So now we just need to find a way to grindstone. Which might still be hard to do. We have to draw through that. I found the top, by the way, but we're at two life. So, oh, all right, we were good. We're good. We're good. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I don't know if I played that badly, but it didn't go very well. <laughs> Oh my. Oh, GG's. Oh boy. I feel like we brick pretty bad on that one too. <laughs> yeah, fast combo though, pretty good against Mono White. We have found another uh helpless opponent, hopefully. Uh round four now of this league with Two card Monty. I have a painter servant grindstone combo and protection, so probably worth keeping. Obviously, it's a mulligan to six, but I think that's okay. Let's see what opponent has got for us. That is a polluted Delta Jet. Am I getting turn one Doomsday killed? No. It's good. Hype. We have drinks. Am I getting Ancestrals on my upkeep? Hands are going to be disgusting. I gotta wash my hands. Oh, maybe I'll be fine. No, I'll probably be fine. <laughs> Cheers, chat. Made a mudslide. Peppermint mudslide. Oh, that came out really good. Wow. That came out so good. Yeah, two, two Kahlua, two, two Bailey, one Peppermint Vodka, and Splash Abbey Cream. Wow. Uh, that was great. All right. Ancient Tomb, Defense Cream. That's so good. I didn't know... I didn't really have any good uses for that vodka because it seemed like it was kind of, you know, gimmicky vodka or... But... This works really well. Oh, man. That does not taste like alcohol. And it's mostly alcohol. It's like 99% alcohol. <laughs> it's better, I think. It's better than the Jameson, yeah. Wow. I'll have to let mom know. Who, where'd I get that... that that vodka from is just leftover from a party. It must have been leftover from a Christmas party. Using heavy cream is the way to go. Yeah, the heavy cream definitely helps. Damn. All right. Well, we're learning things and not how to play magic. <laughs> oh no, we're just getting doomsday. All good things must come to an end. Sorry, chat. I thought we might have a chance to 5-0, but the best deck in the format showed up. <laughs> Ugh, Doomsday had a hell of a weekend uh, last weekend. It just seems like it's farming these mono-white metagames. Um, obviously, Doomsday is like extremely, extremely favored against the the less... Um, the less, not the less powerful, but the the other combo decks like Jewel and Oops All Spells and that kind of deck. Um, Doomsday is super good against those decks. And then if you, I think you just should probably be favored against uh, Mono White, especially if you're on the play. Um. Okay, so we got. Murdered by Doomsday. I don't think my trap will be particularly good for us. Uh, I did cut the archive traps from non-basic land sideboard, uh, which is not going to help us here. Um, yeah, not ideal. I guess I'll, what I'll do is I'll just take these defense grids out. 
No way, I want these defense crits. What are we talking about? Take this abraid out. Maybe we don't want Mindberry Trap on the draw, on the play. I don't think I still want my break trap. I just don't I don't I don't see very many worlds where we're winning games versus Doomsday. So having just like a possible powerful play. This deck had like two or three archive traps in the sideboard, I think, and I cut them because Doom I never see Doomsday in vintage leagues. I only see Doomsday in challenges. So uh not ideal. Not great. Not happy. What if I just cut a land? I just cut this Orborg. No one will notice, right? No one will have any idea. That is so good. Uh, classic hand. We do have a Pyroblast, which is nice, but we also have um nothing else. No, I think technically Saga should be fine. In this matchup. I don't think like holding a grindstone pyro up is a play to play. I'm definitely going to jam this hand though. I might wait till turn two to jam this hand though. So I can have pyro back up. I might not though. I kind of think I might not actually. Um, yeah. Actually, I'm just jamming. Let's wheel and deal. That's why we play in this deck, right? To jam? I think... <laughs> obviously, like, we'll be more likely to resolve. Maybe we won't, won't even be more likely to resolve if we wait, but... Um, I don't really care. I just want to cast this Wheel of Fortune right now. And no one can stop me. Except for my Doomsday opponent, who can definitely stop me. What you got for me? Oh my god. Yeah, sure. Fair enough. <sighs> oh boy. I mean, I'm always playing all my Moxin into a wheel there, so... The only way I can play around the trap is to not play my wheel that turn, which is fair. I could have not played my wheel that turn. But, uh, that is not something I chose to do. Leyline of the Void. Do we die if we cast this? I don't really care either. I'm just going to cast it, and then, uh, we'll find out later. Seems like a good time to cast it. Opens up some Helm Draws. We will die if opponent goes like Dark Ritual Doomsday, right? But that's for the best. Playing more games against Doomsday doesn't seem like a good idea. No one wants that. We're drinking a uh, a peppermint mudslide. It is fantastic. Hey, we didn't die. That's nice. Did lose another crypt flip, though. <laughs> How many crypt flips are we up to? <gasps> twist? Do the twist? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do the twist. What's the worst that could happen? Mental misstep was in their hand. Yeah, I'm down. Let's battle. Oh my god, we're getting flustered? Alright, let's not battle. I lied. And now we don't even have the lands to win with Helm right away. Oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Oh my god. I, I... It's fine. Everything's fine. I just assumed it wasn't resolving. I shouldn't have assumed it wasn't resolving. 
My bad. Excavation mark F6. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. It makes sense for them to fetch and get rid of the fetch with the ley line. Yeah, whatever. Dance's Oracle. Who cares? No shot. I got a mind break trap. Ooh, that worked. Are we winning? <laughs> Are they going to doomsday kill us after trying to Thassa's Oracle kill us because they hit Lotus? That would be fantastic. That's hilarious. That is the most doomsday thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, you did Mind Break Trap my kill, but I also could just kill you this way, too, in the same turn. God. What is it like? It's okay, we have a Demonic Consultation. We could still win this game. Clearly, opponent does not have Counter Magic. I guess they could have Negation or Trap. Um... Unfortunately, because I didn't play a land last turn, uh, because I F6'd, then we can't consult for Helm and kill them with Helm unless we hit an additional mana source, like a Mox. So we might have to consult for Ancestral if we get a turn. Obviously, we get a turn. We could just consult for Tinker, though, right? That is kind of bold, but we could consult for Tinker. I'm assuming we're getting a turn, but there's really no reason to assume we're getting a turn. Nope, we're not getting a turn. My opponent actually had a Thassa's Oracle, Demonic, Consulta uh, Demonic Consultation kill, and Black uh, uh, <laughs> Doomsday kill in the same turn. I hate magic. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no! They can't get Lotus! Lotus is exiled, right? Right? Oh, they take my consult, though. That's bad. Okay, alright, okay, we can still win this game. We can still win this game. Helm of Obedience, Ancestral Recall, uh, Wheel of Fortune, not Wheel of Fortune, uh, Grindstone. Grindstone wins the game. Um, um, there, there are outs. We have outs. <laughs> uh, no, it just has Parm from this morning. You could just rinse it down if you wanted to. It's clean besides that. So I don't know if that technically counts as clean. Uh... If I get dazed, I would lose anyways, right? So, let's just cast this. Ah, got him! Nice. I guess we have to play another game against Doomsday. Just F6 through your turn. Nothing bad could ever happen. All right, let's uh, keep the mind break traps and go again. I can't believe we won that game. <laughs> this has been a chaotic stream. We would have definitely won that game if I had not F6 through my turn, too. I guess maybe not, because we can't really consult into a duress. Hmm, maybe not. Alright, on the draw versus Doomsday, what could what could possibly go wrong? Doomsday. Uh I feel like this is a, you have to keep this, right? This feels like a must keep. I think this deck has too many lands in it. 
I don't know. We'll, we'll let non basic land decide. Keep our keep our or do we go for better? Doomsday on the draw. 3 0. What are we doing? Moxon technically wins the game, but our Helm of Obedience resolving against Doomsday here it just feels. I don't know about this one. <laughs> A welder provides redundancy. Is technically what the welders used to do in this deck. There used to be four welders in this deck back in the day. I wanted to add one for old times' sake. All right, whatever. I mean, what am I? What am I doing here? If I'm not keeping this, what are we even here for? All right, so I'm gonna F2 through each step so that they uh, they think I have mind break trap because I've been F6ing. <laughs> Ah, yes. Doomsday's companion Lotus. No one could have seen this coming. Oh, oh, they made blue mana. Oh, that's not good. Okay, Ancestral. Worst things have happened. Alright, well, I can have six now. Everything loses. It's Doomsday. My opponent's deck is completely unbeatable. It has no bad matchups. It is an 100% win rate deck. It counters all of the decks in the format. All right, we gotta we get the pass. Ooh, I'm not playing around days. By the way, oh, I guess I should have played around. Yeah, no, I'm not playing around days. No one can stop me. I'm all the way up. There's no way I get turn two killed after my Doomsday opponent ancestral, right? Pass? That means they have all counter magic, right? Well, now I'm going to play around uh, these. We have top decked the best two possible cards. It's incredible. All right, I had another force. Gush is gone. It's okay. We have a third helm in our deck. Perfect deck building. The third helm is going to be the one that gets us there. I probably was supposed to play Ancient Tomb that turn in case I can play around Fluster on this next turn. I think they would have pitched Fluster to one of their forces, though. All right, third helm. No, they have another cow. They had fluster. I couldn't really play around this. I can't believe they didn't pitch fluster to force. They pitched gush to force over fluster. Damn. All right, I mean, we, we top deck the best possibles and still we're not look like we're winning, so. They just knew we would draw Tinker. Yeah. All right, they're casting Doomsday as their last two cards here. So we have, we have a couple outs. Oh, it's Necro. Is that better or worse for us? What? Are you sure that what? Right. 
Okay, sorry. Go ahead, box box. Uh, all right. So my opponent drew seven. We drew Solren. All right. Well, this game is very over. I mean, we drew the the two best possibles. So I'm, or maybe not the best possibles. Helm Helm was probably best possibles, but um, we drew like two of our best top top best cards. Top best cards. It's unfortunate. Doomsday is a little unbeatable. <laughs> I'll just keep saying it. It'll definitely make it true. Damn. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, I mean, like, like I said, if we, if I had played Ancient Tomb, it would have let me draw to Ancient Tomb, right? So that's why I, that's the big misplay I was talking about. I think um, instead of playing Gemstone Mine, the turn that I played the second Helm, I should have played Ancient Tomb to let me draw into second Ancient Tomb to play around Flusterstorm. So, like, it's just a small sequencing mistake that doesn't let me get have more outs, you know. I uh, I don't think I would ever ever wait there. I, I can't. I I just don't think that makes sense. I honest to God can't believe they kept Fluster in their hand and pitched Gush. I mean, maybe they top deck Fluster for turn, but I I I, I put them on no Fluster. I I just can't imagine you would pitch Gush if you had a Fluster in your hand and you knew my hand. Like you, they they knew the four out of my five cards, right? So, yeah, 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 because we had a, um, oh, maybe we didn't have a mana confluence in play. We might not have had a blue mana, but we could have always played mana confluence as blue mana. Oh, but that doesn't let us, okay, so you're, I mean, there are other things besides tomb, right? There are, um, no, maybe maybe you're right. Maybe it doesn't matter. So I think my opponent just made a, a doomsday pile where they can demonic for a, a negation. And then they're going to win on the next turn. So I don't think we have any outs anymore. Um, but I mean... Yeah. We actually almost beat Doomsday. It was close. It was close. We, we top tech two of our best possible cards, and it was close, and we lost. <laughs> uh, sad. All right, chat. Fifth and final round of this Vintage League. We have uh, had a pretty good run. Obviously, no one beats Doomsday, but we had some pretty strong victories uh, that were not Doomsday, so that's always nice. And here, we've got a, a pretty reasonable heart start. Let's see what we can do. 3-0 match. Opponent is 3-0, and we are 3-1. Let's see what they're playing. Uh, we have some nice things going on here, like if they're on Dredge, we can go turn one Karn into some kind of Dredge hate. Uh, we can technically go Karn into Painter. And go for a Painter Grindstone. Uh, I mean, I, I I normally aim to start like 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern Time Asphalt, but I had some stuff I wanted to do tonight, so I started a little bit early. Started at 5.45 today. Oh! That's bad. I hear Chalice of the Void's good against our hand. <laughs> That's what I deserve. And a needle. What you gonna needle, friend? Probably wasteland. I can only imagine, yeah, blind needle. It's gotta be wasteland. 
So this must be shops. Not a bad draw. Unfortunately, I don't can't really do much because of this chalice, but Maybe I should be playing around a possible fluster storm by just casting uh oh no, it's shops. Okay. Do you have a vault key too? No. Interesting. So I don't I don't know what kind of shops. Probably prison shops. Could be an annoying matchup with like revokers and stuff. Now we only drew one land and it wasn't a workshop. But we did draw one mana card. Uh, what we can do now is we can Mana Vault, and then we can Karn, and then we can kill Chalice, and then we can play all of this stuff, um, and then what? I mean, I guess we just win, so... I'm just going to win next turn. I could maybe hold Grindstone so they don't, like, revoke it. But then they just revoke Karn and it's the same. They have their own Karn? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, hmm, now what do we do? I even killed the chalice so they had less mana. Well, I can't get there because I spun badly. Uh, did I have mana to spin again? I probably should have used my pedal to spin the the ancient tomb to the top of the deck. That was pretty bad misplay. Hmm. Yeah, I, I had F6 because I thought nothing could possibly matter. Which obviously was not the case. Um so you know, once again, Justin, exclamation mark F6, bad player. Um, I think I'm going to just needle the Karn. I think their Karn's going to be better than our Karn, Karn here. Especially with a Talarian Academy in play. It's kind of odd that they needled Wasteland. But... I don't know what the game plan is here for me, to be honest. I can't really deal with a Karn. I guess I can draw a Pyro Painter. I mean, I have creatures in my deck. I have a Saga underneath the Ancient Tomb as well, actually. I guess the, the Saga gets Ghost Quartered, but... I have a Saga coming and an Ancient Tomb coming. So... I think this makes sense. Ooh, Mystic Forge. Nice. Talarian. Uh, Tabernacle is... Odd. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I put the Saga below the Tomb. I don't think I'm supposed to twist her, for what it's worth. I also don't think I'm supposed to play this Helm out. So I guess I'm just going to see if I can bait a Ghost Quarter on this Tomb. Uh, so that my Saga doesn't get Ghost Quartered. Hmm. Played this game kind of badly. I think if I had spun with the pedal in response to the Karn, we'd probably just instantly win. 
Wait, uh, no, we don't instantly win, but it lets me play to, uh, Helm that turn, and then I don't have to lose my card. I don't know if I'm actually allowed to not Needle Karn. Like, they could, like, la uh, I don't know about Lattice Lock. Lattice Lock might be a bad idea. They could technically Lattice Lock and kill me. We would lock each other out, and then, um, I would, I would mill out. I mean, I think we're at a disadvantage because my opponent has a Telerian Academy, and we don't. My opponent has a Ghost Quarter, and we don't. My opponent has a forge to play zero drops off the top of, or anything off the top of, and we don't. We do have a twister. Oh, they actually activated Inventor's Fair. Are they going to get a Crucible of Worlds? They're going to get a Crucible of Worlds. Okay. Oh, and they drew Workshop. Wow. Um, That's really bad, because that means we're going to get Ghost Quarter locked. Oh, they went for Sphere first. Okay, so we're going to get Ghost Quarter locked out of this game. Uh, and we don't really have any way to deal with that, right? So we're going to cast Twister and see what happens. Not going to play my land drop. So what can I seal for? I guess we can just find out. I think I played this game so badly. I thought we could never lose and then my opponent slammed their own Karn. Um, I think we needed to draw Painter or Pyroblast in that wheel. And then we could have tutored for the other one. Uh, but we didn't draw, and now our top deck is going to be whatever we choose. We can't really Tinker Citadel against Fear and Nine Life. Um. Oh, also, there's a Ghost Quarter. <laughs> so, not great. Alright, I'm going to concede. My cup? Yeah. Why? You need another one? How bold of you. Chat, she's trying to get me drunk. I'm in danger. Ugh. Uh, alright, so a braid is good, and I still, I mean, so the mountain is fine for the ghost quarter. Um, defense grid is obviously bad, but I want to keep all of this hardcore, uh, you know, like really powerful stuff on the play. Tinker away my needle and attack Karn. Yeah, you could technically do something like that. I just think we're going to get Ghost Quarter locked out of the before it matters. Um, there's a Tabernacle in play, and they're looping Ghost Quarters with Crucible of Worlds, and we have no lands to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, that's not an unreasonable line to take. I just don't think it's going to work. So... Like, I, I just don't think that's the speed in which we can deploy that in this game. Like, we had to hit, like, a workshop. You know, a workshop might have helped. Workshop, helm, and then tutor, tinker, maybe. Something like that. I, I don't I don't think our wheel came up with the cards we needed. Uh, is what I'm trying to say. I think I want to keep this and, like, make them have it, right? I'm gonna hold my uh my workshop in hand and play the ancient tomb out to bait a wasteland that could be like an interaction they choose to do obviously if they have provoker or car and we lose but can't can't beat everything there's a wasteland we actually currently don't beat wasteland sphere
Well, they had a revoker. All right. Well, I kind of felt like this matchup might actually be kind of tough. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to mulligan this. Oh, they named Jet. That's good for me. So they don't know about Leyline Helm combo, I guess. I think you always name Helm of Obedience here if you are aware of Leyline Helm combo. So there's a shot. I'm surprised. All right. So we can play Helm this turn. If we hit a Moxin, we win. All right, obviously we can't hit a Moxin because we this Imperial Seal is not a very good magic card. Uh, I think we're just supposed to play this. And if my opponent has a second uh, Revoker, they have a second Revoker. That's fine. There's not much I can do about that if they have more than one Revoker here. Uh, okay. I got a little scared there, but uh, we 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 pushed through. Show me your deck. Imperial Seal, I think, is quite bad. Um, I'm pretty sure if you unre unrestrict Imperial Seal, uh, it will have zero impact on the format. Because no one even plays the first Imperial Seal. The card is a uh, kind of power crept out of the format, I would say. Um. Okay, so on the draw, do we want Mind Break Trap? Nah. Well, maybe because we don't want Twister and Wheel. Sure. Maybe we want Sphinx. Mm, let's get this Imperial Seal out of here. All right, let's try this. I, I really just don't think that Imperial... Like, like you can play an Imperial Seal deck and, like, play a bunch of Street Wraiths and stuff, I guess. I, I just don't think that's good. Well, I mean, there's there, they have ways to answer Sphinx. Uh, you know, they can have Stone Quail Serpent, they can have Ensnaring Bridge, they can just, like, uh, Wasteland you, they can Wasteland lock you and then play Tabernacle. But it is fine against them. I think this hand is gonna go back. I don't think this is good enough to keep. Uh, this one's good enough to keep. I don't know what's going back, though. I guess this, I this mountain goes back so that we can get it off Ghost Quarter. <laughs> More than two cards, sure. There are many Montes, maybe. Ooh. Sphere is particularly good here, because we don't have a very strong fast mana start. I don't think I want to expose my... Actually, I guess I can expose my Workshop. I'm not really casting anything off Workshop, and this lets me play uh, Top and Emerald, and actually Bates a Wasteland. Maybe kind of good, actually. We are not very close to casting Tinker anymore. There's the Wasteland. Uh, let's see if they have Crucible Lock. They don't have Crucible Lock. They don't have a follow-up at all, which means they probably have a bunch of Goloses in their hand. Uh, there's our Citadel, which we don't want. So let's draw Ruby. Um, unfortunately, we're going to draw probably something else we don't want, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, if I could abrade the sphere this turn, I would definitely... Ugh. Oh, wait, they have a four drop? A forge? Ooh, a golem. Things are bad. Things are real bad. Well, we have painter grindstone. So, painter and grindstone are both not... But I'm, I'm gonna get... Ugh, I'm gonna get wastelanded, though. Uh, I can't demonic, and I can't tinker... And I, this is, doesn't work though. 
This doesn't work because my opponent just wastelands me. So we're going to have to hope there's a better card underneath. We're going to have to draw out of this, unfortunately. But, man, it's always so rough when Workshop has uh, their Lodestone plus Sphere and Wastelands. It's going to be close. I could not have abraded one of the lock pieces there, no. I did not have the mana necessary to do such a thing. It's okay. Twitch chat is outside assistance. I can't I can't listen to you anyways. It's cheating. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like pretty tilted from some conversations I had today. Oof, that is a quick clock and plus wasteland here. Not good for the home team. So I think the answer here is play my grindstone and then spin for a Talarian Academy. Good gosh. What a good shop straw. What a great shop straw. Uh, no, these are, these are, I guess, Discord is social media slash Twitter. All right, so I need to spin. And my, one of my two other cards needs to be um, mana uh, that makes two mana. So we need to... No, we know there's a Citadel on top of our, our deck. So we need to hit one of the four Ancient Tombs or the Talarian Academy. Uh, I think those are the only outs. So is it better to draw once and then spin? Because we see three cards deeper. And there are no outs that we lose by spinning later. True or false? Should be true. Okay, so I'm going to draw the, uh, the Citadel, and then I'm going to spin for those same outs. Black Lotus is not an out because it costs two mana. So the only thing is four tombs and one Talarian Academy. And we have three looks. Mishra's Workshop, funnily enough, does not do it. If we block and then we draw Academy four mana. Four Five mana. Okay, so I technically we still have outs. No, we don't have outs because we died of both these attackers. Okay. Uh we did. Three two is kind of what I expect from this deck, anyways. Um we ran pretty nice uh, tonight. We actually had a really nice showing. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was fun. We had some some sick combo kills, uh, and I was pretty happy playing the deck. It is definitely my kind of deck. Artifact combo decks are um, my bread and butter at this point, and um, it was fun. It was definitely definitely a high power deck that you know folds to the more you know refined combo decks of twenty twenty three. Things like Doom De Doomsday. Uh, I think the prison matchup. It's probably not great, but it's definitely workable, especially being on the play. But revokers and stuff like that are, are really hard. I think we should have won zero out of our three games against Prison. Because a, a revoker from a, a player who understands what's happening is going to always name Helm of Obedience there. So, I, I think a, a very solidly 3-2 performance. Like, I, I'm pretty sure you're going to beat Mono White most games as long as your mulligans are good. Um, because the Mono White is very exposed to these... Uh, turn one, all in combo decks. It was fun. It was a good time. Uh, thank you to Non Basic Land for sponsoring this stream. There was a donation deck list. Um, donation deck lists I put, you know, I put out there on, you know, 
to, to see what we could find. And um, they've kind of, you know, slowed down a little bit now. So I'm definitely at the point where I will ask and see if people want to do more donation deck lists. So if that's something that's interesting to you, check out the Patreon link uh, and you can have your deck played on this channel. Make it make a video out of it and uh, it should be pretty fun. Um, so yeah, thanks to non-basic land for sponsoring this stream, more vintage content Monday, Wednesday, Friday on my YouTube channel, 11 a.m. Eastern next stream is not going to be Saturday because of the vintage, uh, or sorry, uh, the next stream is going to be Sunday, not the vintage challenge on Saturday. I'm going to be doing something else on Saturday, but on Sunday, there's a vintage super PTQ, RCQ, whatever those are called. Uh, and I will be streaming that start to finish because I want to help with data. So even if I were to do poorly, uh, we're going to be tryharding probably with PO, and I hope everyone tunes in for that on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern. So early Sunday morning vintage stream, probably seven, eight rounds of vintage. I'll see you then.